Hi, today we're going to do a basic hydroponics setup, um, which is for snap hydroponics, and uh, not to be confused with normal hydroponics, simply because the snap system doesn't actually involve um, a constant cycle of water being pumped around. Um, it's a solution which is uh, pre-mixed, and basically it's sat in a reservoir which feeds the plants. Now, this this setup we're doing today is based on um, drainage pipe. As you can see, it's a fairly large pipe. This is being designed to go on top of one of our uh, balcony spaces. The due to the odd size of the pipes in the Philippines, I've got an orange coupler here, and then the filler caps are yet another different size. Now, I'm sure if I went to another supplier, I could have got orange caps that fit the orange coupler. And these pipes are actually the same size as the downpipe, so you can't actually just put them straight in, you need a coupler to join them together. So, that's the first issue. Now, I've started marking the holes out here. As you can see, the first one is based on the size of the cutter. Um, I've, I pre-sorted the cutter out and I've, I've left a gap from the edge of about two inches either end. Um, putting, working out the center then it's a one and a half inch gap and this is measured between this one and the next the next marking uh, which is here for, the, for these they're being designed for tomatoes um, so we've actually given them extra spacing which works out at nine inch centers so that each cup um, will fit into it nicely and give plenty of growth space this, these are the plastic cups we're using. Basic plastic cups. You can use polystyrene ones, um, which are easier to notch out later to let the water get into them. But basically, this this edge here works out to fit in just under the rim. And then basically, these will just insert. This is a. This is a liquid concrete solution which is used to seal these units to make them watertight. Um, you can buy it like this. Others are using um, silicon sealant. It all depends on the fittings. These ones, if, if it was the right fittings, you, they're near enough complete it, um, due to the tightness of them. But these being the fittings that we have here, they're pretty loose. I mean, generally, the fittings I have in the UK, when I put them together, uh, when I check sizes, I struggle to get them apart um, before I install them. So, to have fittings that are actually this loose isn't exactly great, but we'll work around that. But anyway, I'm just about to start cutting. Um, I'll be drilling these out basically like this, straight in, and I'll give you a shout in five minutes once that's finished. 